Rusty, what would you say is the most important item for building a team for someone that is starting out in real estate investment? How would you, how would you advise someone to start building a team? Um, I mean, I can't overstate trust enough. And so that means, you know, be somebody who is going to do what you say and say what you mean and mean what you say. Um, have that deliberate vision so that you're painting a picture for people and let them decide, do you want to come on this ride with me or not? And if you don't, it's okay. I'm okay with that. You're okay with that, but good to know now. Um, you know, we all have to be willing to work together. An organization's a system. A team is a system. I push on one side and, and it bulges out in other places. So we all have to be aligned. I mean, you've driven a car that's out of alignment, right? You can get it down the road, but your gas mileage, your tread on your tire is going to go bad. You're going to feel exhausted when you get there. So how do we eliminate the friction? And we do that by having a clear goal, a clear vision, and making sure that we're being really transparent and helping people deliver their part and understand how, how what they do aligns to what we're trying to get. And I, what I'd say too is, you know, it has to be a deliberate thought if you want to build your business based mm -hmm. on your culture. And it is a thought that takes many, 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 many years to see the return on your investment. And when you get there, the return on your investment is incredible. But, you know, JWB started in 2006. And when Rusty was talking about, you know, in times of downturn, focusing on assets and innovation, well, I remember those conversations that we had when we were going through a downturn. And we said, are we going to continue to hire? Are we going to continue to invest in our people? while the real estate world is falling around us. And we all looked at ourselves and said, yes, we're going to double down on this because we believe this is the core that's going to make us great when real estate comes back. So you, you have to be deliberate. That may be the right approach for you and your business. And if that's the approach, I would recommend diving full in as early as possible. I would recommend talking to somebody like Rusty now, if you believe that that is going to be the core function of your business. With that being said, that may not be your core function. You may be like more tr traditional businesses and go in a different route where you don't make this huge investment. In my opinion, it would be a less of a payoff later. It would be easier in the beginning, sure. right? So I think you have to decide what type of business, a lot of what Rusty has been saying, to decide what your purpose is, decide the business that you want to create. And if you decide that the culture is going to be the reason why people come and do business with you, start immediately, make that investment because it's going to take five years, 10 years before you can really see the huge payoff. And then when you get there, it builds on itself. And that's, that's the beauty of it. Um, but it may not be for everybody. So you have to make that decision yourself. If you don't define your culture and your purpose, others will define it for you. And it may not be what you want.